Exponential Equation Exponential equation is defined as equations in which variable occurs as exponents. Let's start off by looking at the simpler method. If b raised to x equals b raised to y, then x equals y. In our first set of examples, we are going to express the following expressions into its exponential form. Number 1. 4. The answer is 2 squared. Number 2. 64. The answer is 2 raised to 6. Number 3. 27. The answer is 3 raised to 3 or 3 cubed. Number 4. 1 half. It's 2 raised to negative 1. And lastly, 1 fourth. The answer is 2 raised to negative 2. In our second set of example, we are going to solve the following exponential equations. Number 1. 2 raised to x equals 2 cubed. Since the bases are the same, set the exponents equal to one another and solve for x. Solution. If 2 raised to x equals 2 cubed, then x equals 3. Number 2. 27 raised to x minus 7 equals 9 raised to 2x minus 5. Since both 27 and 9 can be expressed into an exponent of 3, we could say that if 27 raised to x minus 7 equals 9 raised to 2x minus 5, we change 27 into its exponential form, which is 3 cubed, and 9, which is 3 squared. Next, simplifying this, we could say it's 3 raised to 3 times quantity x minus 7 equals 3 raised to 2 times quantity 2x minus 5. Since both are having the same basis already, then we could say that then 3, 3 times quantity x minus 7 equals 2 times quantity 2x minus 5 by distributive property, we distribute 3 to x minus 7, it became 3x minus 21, and by distributing 2 to 2x minus 5, that's 4x minus 10. As we transpose 4x to the other side of the equation, and we transpose negative 21 to the other side of the equation, we get 3x minus 4x equals 21 minus 10. Simplifying this, 3x minus 4x, that's negative x, and 21 minus 10, that's 11. To cancel out the negative 1 on x, we need to divide both sides by negative 1. So you will get there x equals negative 11, since 11 divided by negative 1 is negative 11. So the value of your x is negative 11. Number 3. 2 raised to 3x plus 2 equals 8. 8 can be expressed into an exponent of 2, so we need to make sure that both are having the same basis. So, you have here if 2 raised to 3x plus 2 equals 8, we need to transform 8 into its exponential form. So, that would be 2 cubed. So, 2 raised to 3x plus 2 equals 2 cubed, since both are already having the same basis of 2, then we can proceed to solving x. Then, 3x plus 2 equals 3. 3x equals 3 minus 2 because we transpose 2 to the other side of the equation. And 3 minus 2 is 1. We get 3x equals 1. Dividing both sides by 3, cancel 3. x equals 1 third. Number 4. 1 half raised to x plus 4 equals 8. 1 half and 8 can be expressed into an exponent of 2. So let's have our solution. If 1 half raised to x plus 4 equals 8, 
So we can express 1 half into its exponential form, which is 2 raised to negative 1, and 8, which is 2 cubed. So as we simplify this, we get 2 raised to negative 1 times quantity x plus 4 equals 2 cubed. Since both are sharing the same basis, we could say then negative 1 times x plus 4 equals 3. As we distribute negative 1 to x plus 4, we get negative x minus 4. Then transpose negative 4 to the other side of the equation, we get negative x equals 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. Since we're looking for x, not negative x, the solution is not yet done. So we need to divide both sides by negative 1 to cancel out negative 1. So as we cancel out negative 1, x equals negative 7 since 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. Number 5. 1 over 9 raised to 6x plus 5 equals 27. Both 1 over 9 and 27 can be expressed into an exponent of 3. So for the solution, we need to express 1 over 9 and 27 with a base of 3. So 1 over 9, that's 3 raised to negative 2. And 27, that's 3 cubed. So as we simplify, 3 raised to negative 2 times quantity 6x plus 5 equals 3 cubed. And since both are already sharing the same base, which is 3, we can proceed by solving the value of x. So you have here negative 2 times quantity 6x plus 5 equals 3. Next, distribute negative 2 to 6x plus 5. That would be negative 12x minus 10 equals 3. Next, transpose negative 10 to the other side of the equation, it will become negative 12x equals 3 plus 10. 3 plus 10, that's 13. Since we're not looking for negative 12x, we're looking for the value of x, the solution is not yet done. Divide both sides by negative 12 to cancel out negative 12. And with that, we get our the value of our x, which is negative 13 over 12. So the value of x is negative 13 over 12.